Jesus is Savior. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. And she'll bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Greetings to you on this wonderful, beautiful Christmas day, as you and I, as we celebrate Jesus Christ all around the world. We look back and we celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ was indeed born into this world 2,000 years ago. But today we worship Him as exalted King, as Lord, as, as God, the eternal God, we worship Him. And as we reflect on who Jesus is, one thing we see very clearly stated for us here in Matthew 1 and verse 21, that Jesus Christ, His name is Jesus, because He saves us from our sins. Jesus came to be our Savior, and He is our Savior. He is the only Savior the world ever has known. There have been many great leaders, philosophers, thinkers, founders of um, a, uh, religions and movements and ideologies and so on. Men and women have come and gone. But there is only one Savior. There's only one who came to save us from our sins and who did it for us. He didn't come to tell us how we could save ourselves. He came to be our Savior and do it for us. What we could not do for ourselves, He came to do for us. The Bible says in 1 Peter 3 and verse 18, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Why did Jesus come? He came so that He could pay the full penalty for our sins, take sin, our sins out of the way, so that He could bring us to God. He died in the flesh, but He is made alive. He is alive by the Holy Spirit. And He came to bring us to God. The world knows only one Savior. The world knows only one who could bring us to God. No other philosopher, no other religious leader, no other person can promise this for you and me. Saying, I can bring you to God. That I can reconcile you. I can connect you with God. It's only through Jesus. And today, as we worship Him and celebrate Him as Savior, let us pray that this news of Jesus Christ will touch the hearts and lives of many people, that many will get to know Him as their personal Savior, the one who saves them from their sins, the one who brings them to God and into God's kingdom. Let's thank Him that He's done it for us. Let's pray that this will happen in the hearts and lives of many people around us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we worship You as our Savior. We thank You, You came to save us from our sins the just dying for the unjust, that you might bring us to God. Thank you for bringing us into the kingdom. Thank you for bringing us to God. And Lord, we pray that you will use us to take your name, your message to many lives, so that many others around us know you as their personal Savior. Thank you, O oh God. We worship you today. We celebrate you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.